So I have permission to use you on my show. You've been riding with Willie. This? <laughs> this is Can I use you on my show? Sure, let's go. All right, let's go. Tommy, you're here for Miss Sharon. How are you, Miss Sharon? Do you have a uh, long day today? Long enough. <laughs> huh? Long enough. Long enough? Yeah. Wasn't too bad, but when you have other things to do before you get to work, it makes you tired when you get to work. Yes, ma'am. It's a tough, <laughs> tough life when you got to work a lot. What type of, are you a nurse? No, I just clean up at nighttime. Okay. Boy, I bet you see some awful things. It's not really bad on this side. It's, it's I'll, I'll say it would be pretty much bad on the hospital side. That's okay. where they see all the weird stuff at. Yeah. You don't get any weird stuff here in the no, middle? I think the weirdest thing I've seen is where uh, a lady had went in labor on the floor. She had, and they and we <laughs> they had to clean the carpet where her water had broke. That's yes. Like, that's like the weirdest thing I've seen. When your baby's coming, they want to come. They don't care where they are, do they? No. Nope. They don't care where they are. They don't care nope. what time of day it is. They nope. don't. Honey, I was watching a YouTube video, and uh -huh. this man was taking his late to his wife to the doctor to deliver the baby, and she's like, "Oh no, oh no!" She said, "What?" He's like, "She's like, I think my water broke." She literally gave birth to this. That baby came out in the car while they was driving to the hospital. Yeah, it happens. I was like, "Oh my gosh!" She's, you know, he was like, "Unbuckle your seatbelt." Pull your trousers down. And I mean, she just leaves. I said, oh my God. Your In the front seat? Yes. He, while he's driving? He's driving. And she Was it their said, first? I don't think so. Not for a baby to fall Because that would have been bad, but you know. Like, your was... baby just fell out. <laughs> the baby just came right out in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, she just, and she still had, she's like, you know. And this is a YouTube video? Yes. I got to find that. I was like, this lady just gave birth to her baby. Like, she, he, he helped her pull her trousers down. And, and then you just, she, cause she's so, she said, oh God, my water just broke, my water just broke. And she said, and she said, I think the baby's coming. I was like, the baby coming? I'm watching this video yelling back at the phone, like, the baby coming. <laughs> Baby's coming. Yeah, honey, the baby came. They come when they want to. Yes, honey. That lady went in to see her uh, doctor on the fifth floor. Uh -huh. She went in to see her doctor, and the doctor was like, you know, just to do a regular checkup visit. Her doctor told her, no, get her over into labor and delivery. This baby is on the way. She didn't make it to the elevator. This is at, back here. Yeah, back at my wild. Yeah, place. where your place? Yes. Wow. She didn't make it to the elevator. She just sat down on the floor yeah, right there. Yep, baby the doctor's right. It was like, nope, you got to go now. Right, he was like, you got to go now. <laughs> How about that? How long you worked there? Um, I came back here about 2018. Okay, where are you from? I'm from here. You're a local girl. Yeah. You're a real Nashville, you, huh? Yeah. All right. Born and raised. All right. We won't talk about ages here. <laughs> Where are you, from? you seem to like your job. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good for you. He said, We're not going to talk about ages here. Where are you from? Oh, age. Uh, I'm from originally from Atlanta. I bounced, uh, I traveled back and forth to Atlanta. You've been to Atlanta? Time. Yeah, I've never lived there. And I just was be like, When I get there, I'm just like, it's like you step into a whole time, a time warp, because everything here moved kind of just smooth. Everything there is like so fast, and it's like, hold up, what just happened? It's like traveling into the future. Yes. It's you like, know what it is? Huh? Atlanta is Nashville, what Nashville is going to be like in about 10, 12 years. I say You see this five. growth? I say about five. Okay, well, I, I put money on you. Hundred dollar bills, hold them up with a tight fist. Hundred dollar bills, hold them up. Hundred dollar bills, hold them up with a tight fist. Hundred dollar bills, hold them up. I'd say that's right. Cause you think, I mean, back when 
in the 90s when they used to have everybody used to flood to Atlanta to the freak Nick and all the little other little things yeah. they used to Atlanta was just a little country town. Did you ever go? Huh? Did you ever go to Freak Nick? I went one. How was it for you? Did you go on one of the good years or you go on one where you got out of hand? Uh, it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You had a good time? Yeah. You know, when you got out of high school, you were able to go and travel and do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get with your friends and got to sit around together. And so I've been, been like, a lot of my friends used to do like hair and stuff. So we used to go down there for hair shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was cool. And it's like, it's just so fast down there. And then it's like up in, and you come back here and it's like, whoo. <laughs> it's oh. like, then you wake up one day. Slow day. down a bit. Right. Then so. So be it. And then you just see the explosion. It's like, what the hell is going on here? Like this wasn't here, that wasn't there, this ain't what that used to be. What what happened to this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you'd be like, that wasn't there. That used to be this. It used to be a whole nother building. <laughs> I know when you've been back and you, forth. You blink and then it changes, right? Yes. Yes. Now yes. you've been here uh your entire life. Yeah. Name a restaurant that's no longer here that you miss. Is there a restaurant here that you used to really like that's gone now? Oh. Because I can think of one that was here about 25 years ago that I loved. What was it? Florida Seafood Kitchen. Oh, yes. Do you remember that? Yes. It used to actually be, I think, right up off of... Uh, Nolensville and... Oh, Nolensville Hart. Road. Yeah, yep. And I loved in that restaurant. Right there, I think, around the time the Florida Seafood Kitchen was right there, I think Party Mall and all that was right in that area. So that's mine. You got one? Uh, one of the places I would like to eat just closed out, like not not long, not too long ago. Hacienda, the Mexican restaurant. Where was that? Um, do you know what Phono Lux is off of Nosewood Road? No. Um, it's, but they it's, they've closed though. Yeah, it, it, they closed it. They just closed not like too long ago. Um, Mr. Getty's. <laughs> The pizza place. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever go downtown and eat the old spaghetti factory? Oh, yes. I've been there before. Yeah, that was good, too. That was good. I like this. That's a chain, but it was it was fun. Yeah. It, it's, I haven't, ever since that whole explosion thing down yes. there, I haven't really been down there to look at downtown to see what they're, because I've seen like pictures of what it's quote unquote supposed to look like once they finish out the construction. Right. I said, and you know, they were sitting there, you know, with this whole uh, agenda or what happened. I said, I'm sorry, y'all missing the whole picture here about this explosion. I said, that was a money grab. It, it wasn't about a man who, won, who was mad because his parents caught cancer and died because he used to work for at t Man, that was I said that I said the news was being a, a story like Charlotte's Web to get you to believe some crap that ain't real to hide the real agenda. That was a money grab. That whole explosion thing, it was a money grab. So you think it was a setup? Yes, it was a money grab. Cause this guy literally said, got on TV, he had just bought he had a, a one of the little condos down there in the area. He said, I thank God. He's like, I'm so thankful I listened to my friend and he told me to get uh, insurance on my apartment. When his apartment, uh, when that explosion went off and he took his apartment out, man, dude got paid. Yeah. Yeah, he got paid a nice lump sum of money for that. And like I said, it was a money grab. It was all a financial thing. It was, uh, it was cause the, the, I think the mayor had owned a couple of spots down there. He had investments in some of the businesses downtown on on the lower broad area, in the area. So it was all about money. Interesting. I said, because think about it. it was, you can't say it was a terrorist attack because the guy wouldn't have set the little alarm off to go in the, uh, the camper to go out to warn everybody that, you know what I'm saying, something was about to happen if it was a terrorist attack. Terrorists don't warn you. They just go in and do what they do. 
I said, so you have to think logically. The news is going to spin this to make it sound some type of way to make you feel emotional. I said, okay, now I'm mad about that. Uh, I lost service for those folks a couple hours. <laughs> My phone oh, yeah. went down. That's the only thing I was mad about. Yes, uh, internet and all that went down that morning. Right, uh -huh. I didn't live. I wasn't living here then, but uh, wow, yeah, that was just a few months before I moved here. Yeah, all that went down. I was like. Well, Sharon, are you having a good time tonight? Huh? Are you about to have, you know, I said, are you having a good time tonight? Yes. You are, Sharon? Yes. Sharon, I got to ask you a question. Okay. My name is William. Uh -huh. I go by Willie. This is a reality show called Ride with Willie. Ride with Willie, all right. You are Ride with Willie. See that, that camera there? Look at that camera. Come up here and look at that camera. I see the camera. You see that there? Yes. Look. Look that show right there. Do I have permission to use you on my show? <laughs> you been riding with Willie. This, this Can I use you on my show? Sure, let's go. All right, let's go.